right, it looks like an e-bike. That's a good first sign. Little did he know it was not a good first sign. Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I am unboxing an incredibly cheap electric bike. This is a $398 Hyper E-Ride from Walmart. I bought this thing for the sole reason that I wanted to see how good a $398 e-bike could be. So without further ado, let's open this thing up and see how she rides. All right, it looks like an e-bike. That's a good first sign. You guys ready for this? Ta-da! It's probably pedals, I assume. All right, now we are in Cable Ties City. You do want to be at least a little bit careful cutting cable ties right on the tires here. Probably better to use some diagonal cutters than a knife, but this is what I have. All right, one wheel is free. Sort of. There we go. And yeah, this is actually kind of coming together like a bike. I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting. I assumed it was a bike, but when it's only less than 400 bucks, you kind of kind of expect the worst. And so far, it's actually looking like a normal e-bike. Figure that. Did they give me tools? I didn't come with tools because I plan to use the ones they provide. Make this real authentic. And of course, there are no tools here. I guess they assume the Walmart dude's gonna assemble this for you. All right, back with some tools. This is probably my least favorite part of assembling bikes, is putting on the handlebar clamp. All right, handlebars on. All right, front wheel on. Ooh, starting to see some paint here. Woohoo, look at that. Got some high vis going on here. That C clamp kind of sucks. All right, yeah, so there's the first obvious super cheap thing here is this seat post clamp can't clamp for crap. Have to do something custom there to strengthen that thing. Pedal time. Left goes on left. Also, this is pretty funny. There's a sticker here that says this pedal is for chain wheel side, but it's definitely not for the chain wheel side. What an awful way to label that. Right, a little more foam removal and we will be there. Yeah, let's set up the front brakes. Man, I haven't had V brakes in forever. Whew, that cable is awful. What is going on here? Oh my god, those brakes are terrible. Whew, looks like the cable got kinked or something. Alright, well, that's only kind of a safety hazard. At least I got my rears. Oh, okay, so you gotta turn the battery on first. There we go, that'll be powered up. Now, of course, there's no throttle, because that would be too much fun. So, let's see if we have any pedal assist power here. I really gotta do something about this seat post clamp. Alright. All right, so the bike is not working. <laughs> not a good sign. Okay, I'm getting nothing here. The only thing that works is the six kilometer per hour walk mode. And again, the C-clamp does not work. There we go. The walk mode works barely, but why doesn't any pedal assist work? Ugh. I'm getting no motor power at all. Let's check this sensor here. So what happens a lot when I write articles on Electrek about electric bikes is that I get people in the comment section saying, any e-bike over $500 isn't worth it. 
an e-bike should never cost more than $500. Why would you ever spend $800, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 on an e-bike? Well, this is what happens when you cheap out. When you get a sub $500 e-bike, or in this case, a sub $400 e-bike, it just doesn't work. Everything is the lowest possible quality to get that price down. Every piece is a potential point of failure. And when every piece is a piece of crap, there's a lot of failure to occur. So something is not working here. I can only get it to power under the walk mode. And even then the walk mode button is sticking down half the time. It appears either the magnet sensor isn't working or there's an issue in the controller, but this is not going to be a pleasurable experience for anybody's first e-bike. And if anything, I'm glad it happened to me so that you guys know not to buy this e-bike. Now, I guess the next step is I'm gonna see how good Walmart's return policy is. All right, thanks for watching everyone. I'm sorry that wasn't a more eventful video, but I hope it was still something that you could learn from and maybe know to steer away from this bike. Last but not least, it's time to announce the winner of last week's book giveaway. And the randomly selected commenter is... Diamond DBW. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like and where to send it. You can choose from DIY lithium batteries, DIY solar power, the ultimate do-it-yourself e-bike guide, and electric motorcycles. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you want, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. And if you don't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time. And for those of you wondering, Walmart in fact did give me my money back yesterday with absolutely zero hassle. So I guess I can give them props on that.